everybody, and welcome to National Hot Sauce Day for January 22nd, 2022. That's right, National Hot Sauce Day. We know you all love them because we use them in everything from Bloody Marys to eggs to enchiladas to chicken wings, and you name it, you could probably put hot sauce on just about anything. And that's the exciting part about why we love hot sauce so much. I know I'm a fan, but I don't like it getting too hot. But let's talk a little bit about the history of hot sauce as we know it. So in, the, in the 1807, we, there's a known fact that hot sauces were made with cayenne peppers and bottled in Massachusetts. And then in 1849, Colonel Manuel White, a Louisiana banker, grew the first recorded crop of Tabasco chilies. And then we know that in 1868, Tabasco actually started being manufactured on Avery Island. And Tabasco, as we know it today, is introduced to America. I love Tabasco sauce. All the flavors, one of my favorite out there. In 1980, a company called Old El Paso made its debut. 1992, salsa replaced ketchup as the number one condiment. In 1994, Campbell Soup bought Pace Salsa Company for $1.1 billion. Kind of crazy when you think about it, if you ask me, myself, right? And in 1998, Super Bowl featured a man covering his pizza with Tabasco. He gets bit by a mosquito, smiles as the mosquito bursts into flames. What a great commercial that was. If you uh, remember it, you will also probably have a smile on your face. So let's talk a little bit about, um, about uh, hot sauce itself. So peppers are graded on a Scoville scale and the Scoville scale goes from zero, right? Which could be like a bell pepper to hitting the millions, which will top out the charts. And so hot sauces vary by region and then they vary by their Scoville rating. And they're made with tons of different types of peppers, right? We have jalapenos, which are, are about 10,000 on the Scoville scale. So if you get somebody who says that a jalapeno is too hot for them, they probably will not be able to touch most everything else on this this. Tabasco is about 50,000 Scovilles. A Thai pepper that we get in all that Chinese food. I don't know if you've ever eaten one of those, but I remember the first time I took a bite of one and my mouth was on fire. I asked for some milk and um, all the Chinese ladies that were serving at the restaurant I was at were laughing at me, poking their head around the corner. And I ended up having to go across the street, McDonald's, grab some milk because I was just dying. Uh, then we move up to the Carolina cayenne pepper, which is about 125,000 Scovilles. Jump up to the habanero at 350,000 Scovilles, along with the Scotch bonnet that is also 350,000 Scovilles. We then move to the Trinidad Sco scorpion at 1 million Scovilles. And then you jump next to the Carolina reaper, which is one of the hottest known peppers on the planet at 2.2 million Scovilles. Pretty crazy if you ask me. And, I, and to put that a little in perspective for you, police grade pepper spray is 5.3 million Scovilles. Pretty crazy. A little side story about uh, peppers. My best friend, Richard, he loves hot peppers, and he he will pop hab, um, habaneros like they're nothing. There's one uh, Thanksgiving that we were at his uh, aunt and uncle's house, and he was uh, showing everybody how he could eat. I think it was, um, I don't think it was a Trinidad, but I don't remember which pepper it was, but he ate it. He did pretty good. I still have the video. Watch it every now and then. Get a good laugh. He ends up going and drinking his daughter's milk. Only milk left in the house. Um, and it was pretty, pretty crazy. But he actually has won a pepper eating contest up in El Dorado Hills, California. So you go get him, Rick. So how can you celebrate? Well, 
First of all, why don't you try something? Try a pepper that you haven't had. Try a hot sauce that you haven't had. Be outrageous. Take an international tour of your grocery aisle and pick up a couple of different hop sauces from different regions around the world. You might look for some recipes that call for hot sauce and cook uh, it with a couple of different brands. You will be amazed at how the uh, variants differ. Why don't you try making it? If you're courageous enough, you never know, but you could make your own hot sauce and um, just pick your peppers, spice it up, be cautious, make sure you don't rub your eyes. And you could host a hot sauce party, right? Invite some friends over, bring out some different bottles, have everybody bring their favorite and bring one that they haven't tried and try them. And you never know what you might have. But I want to hope that you pick a great hot sauce to try, that you look at how you can celebrate and go out there and be you know, be courageous. Make sure that you take a photo of yourself celebrating National Hot Sauce Day, post it on social media, and do hashtag DPB Hot Sauce 2022. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the Daily Positivity Boost podcast and YouTube channel. Have a great day, everybody.